हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई टॉक आई होप यू ऑल हैव बिन एन्जॉइंग ई मैक्स वन सो फार लाइक आई एम बट यू माइट बी वंडरिंग हाउ डू आई मीट फेलो ई मैक्स यूजर्स आफ्टर द कॉन्फ्रेंस वॉट इफ आई टेल यू देर इज अ वे द आंसर इज लोकल मीटअप्स दीज आर यूजर ग्रुप्स हु अरेंज इवेंट्स एट सम फ्रिक्वेंसी दे मीट एट सम फ्रिक्वेंसी and that's what we are going to talk about today attending and organizing emacs meetups in other words enjoying your emacs journey with more folks i'm bhavin i'm from india and i have been organizing emacs asia pacific meetup uh, since last few months and we will be talking about online meetups most of the time uh, the beauty of online meetups is you can join any meetups uh, if the time permits if the time zone is same and there is no barrier so let's get started let's see how a meetup look like uh, uh we'll uh, see one of the emacs apac meetups snippet basically uh there is something called org in that mode right uh mm -hmm. so It's like this org adapt indentation, which is like electric indent. So, like when you press enter, yeah. it will indent. This yeah. org indent mode, which does not require you to actually make the indents physically in file, it will do make things appear indented. Mm -hmm. This one. Yep. Yeah. Org adapt. Okay. looks interesting right so let's get into more details you might have a question why should i attend meetups that's a good question you should always ask why it's an opportunity to learn together uh you basically meet like minded people like minded emacs users and you can always have fun right you still might have question uh i'm a beginner i would say that's a great avenue for you uh, you get to discover more things uh, you can get helps if you are facing any issues any errors and always keep in mind that it's okay if you don't understand everything from the discussion there are going to be times where everything is uh, all the topics you are not able to understand which is totally fine i am an experienced user i would say that's even better because you can help others uh, during the meetup and usually in emacs or in general there is always something new to learn there are plenty packages there might be something you have never tried and there are always going to be different workflows of using something so now how do i become part of a meetup right how do i become part of a meetup group the first step you might be doing is finding a meetup So there is this page Emacs Wiki page called User Groups, currently maintained by Leo and Sasha. So let's see how that page looks like. As you can see, this page uh, tells you about all the upcoming events, and also it has a list of all the meetup groups. Uh, so you can find uh, all the groups there once you find one you need to join right so how to join differs from group to group but usually you will find a way to subscribe to their mailing list or rss feed join their isc channels they might have uh, accounts on some platforms like moblizion or meetup.com so you can just go there and join so that you get notified whenever there is a new event now seeing that list right you you might say there are too many events of my interest don't worry there is a solution so there is a emax calendar so you can subscribe to this calendar and as let's see what all events are there in this particular calendar uh, this month there is emax berlin to start with and then there is emax conf then emax apac is also there
So let's see there is a companion website for this calendar as well. Let's go to the website also. So you will see all the options, how to import it. Uh, there is ICS file. Uh, there are different time zones or mode files. So you can just go there and subscribe. So how do I make most out of it? If I'm an attending, attending a meetup, how do I make most out of it? I would say never hesitate from asking questions. If there is something new, something you don't understand, just go ahead and ask question. Ask for help if you are stuck somewhere. There are going to be new things. So make sure you note them down and you can try those later. If possible, have microphone or webcam on uh, so that you can connect with others very easily. If that's not an option for some reason, it's fine. You can always use chat and interact with everyone. So don't make uh, that as a reason for not attending. Go ahead and attend even if you just have chat as an option to interact with others. Wait, I still have questions. Definitely. Uh, so if you have more questions, go ahead and post those. I'll come to them at the end. So now we know how to attend, uh, what are the things you need to do if you want to attend. What if I want to start my own meetup group because there is uh, no regional group or there is something very specific which you want to start a group about. Again, why should I start a meetup group? It is a way I would say to give back to the community by creating a platform for people to interact. So you uh, let speakers give a platform, you give, a, give speakers a platform, you also give a platform to the attendees and obviously to have fun with others. There are some common questions which might come up, something like how much efforts do I need to put? Personally, I don't have to put more than two hours a month. That's including the time I attend the meetup. What if I'm new to the new to Emacs? That's totally fine. You don't have to know Emacs. You don't have to be an expert to start a meetup group. That's totally fine. You will have more folks joining in uh, with different experiences. That's totally fine to be a beginner in Emacs to start a meetup. How do I do it now? So let's look at some specifics, some questions you might need to answer uh, in order to start your meetup group. Format of the meetup, uh, what participants will do during the meetup. So let's see one of the option. Uh, this is one of my favorites. Keep it simple, a bit unstructured and have free flowing discussions. What does that mean? That basically means letting people ask questions, share new things they have found, let them ask uh, doubts, help, ask them for help. During this free flowing discussions, you can go through Emacs news as well, uh, go through the topics and you might find something interesting which you can talk about. Why I prefer discussions? Discussions basically give an opportunity to all the participants uh, to participate. They get to talk about what they know uh, rather than just having one way talk. They can basically uh, participate by putting up their thoughts. Everyone gets to learn more as topics change. Usually during these free flowing discussions, topics keep changing and that's how you get to learn more. This also has less friction for the speakers. Uh, they won't have a burden that, okay, I have a talk in the meetup I need to prepare. So that just increases friction for them to participate. If you are having a free flowing discussion, it's basically just matter of saying, Hey, uh, maybe I would like to share my screen and I'll talk about this particular thing. What about talks? Everyone loves talks. Even I do. So make sure you are also accommodating talks, uh, allow people to submit talks and have uh, talks plus discussions. You can also host watch parties. So you can pick up any of the talks from Emacs, Con, for anything which is uh, 
out there and you can watch it together and you can have discussion about that particular talk. The next question you might need to answer is frequency of the meetup. How often the group is going to meet? One option is recurring meetups. So something like you meet every month on a specific day, time. Another option is one off meetups. So you can meet uh, whenever you have some specific talk, some specific discussion topic. What you can do about the timing is if you are targeting a specific region, make sure all the time zones from that region are able to attend. Now you have figured out everything and you are going to schedule the meetup. So should I schedule and just wait? No. Go ahead and spread the word about it. So let's see what we can do. You can post on social media about your event. So usually do it a week or two before so that people can plan their uh, other things. Share it on local GNU Linux user groups. They might have IRC channels, mailing list. So you should share your event there. Reddit seems to be a popular place as well. So many people follow and are there. So you can post about your event there as well. The next option is adding your uh, event to Emacs calendar. Should get your uh, event added to the Emacs wiki and the calendar, which we saw in the first part. And the instructions are given there. So whenever you schedule a meetup, you should definitely add your event to those places. So next thing you should do is, uh, these are few points uh, which you should do during the meetup. You should start with the introductions. Uh, introductions serve as a icebreaker usually. They uh, make everyone speak about themselves so that everyone knows each other a bit at least. Make sure it is possible for uh, others to participate via chat. So if there are uh, some messages in the chat, make sure you relay those to others who are talking via uh, audio video. Uh, share your website at the end so that people know uh, and they can follow it and they can join the next event. The next is keeping track of time. So make sure you keep track of time, have some time, let's say one hour or some slightly more than that and time bound your event so that we respect everyone's time and we conclude in time. Now your meetup was done, it was good, people attended. What's next? Publishing the recordings, I would say. You should consider publishing the talk, dis talks or discussions, both. The reason being people can revisit the things. Uh, usually people go back and watch the recordings again. And those who were not able to attend, they can also participate by watching the recording. You can do even more. Uh, you can have captions for the videos so that people can enjoy the talks way better than just audio video. And you can even have written summaries of the discussions, something like with links. So let's see some of the examples of summaries. So this is uh, one of the summary for uh, Austin meetup and this is written by someone who is participating during that meetup. You can see they have put up their thoughts, what they think about something uh, they got to know in the event. Another example we can see is uh, MX Research. Uh, you can see they have put up all the discussion points, they have even have action items from the meetup. And one more example we can see is Emacs Apac. What I have done here is I have mentioned the topic and links who shared what. And that's about post meetup stuff. You can keep it simple. Just start with hosting your video recording and just to start with basic links and details. So are we ready to start a meetup? Definitely. So let's see some of the points or checklist I would say you should do before you start a meetup group. What are the next steps? Have a co-organizer. So have at least one co-organizer or person to talk to during the meetup. 
so that even if uh, no one shows up you will have someone to talk to and you both can discuss about the topic you decided to uh if your friend or the person you have reached out to uh, are hesitant to become a co-organizer because that feels like responsibility it's fine you can ask them to just come with you and have the discussion during the event and like andrea explained in his talk about buddy uh buddy is someone who is helping you with your emacs journey buddies and their uh mentees can make their uh meeting public and that can be a good way to start or spin off a meetup have a website for your meetup you should definitely have a website where people can go and read about your event or the group keep it simple uh have rss feed so that people can subscribe and whenever you have new talks make sure you add those talks to the announcement pages so let's quickly see some of the example websites so first one here is uh, again emax asia pacific event you can see uh, we have details uh, what is the timing how to submit a talk how to attend next example is emax berlin so you can see they have mentioned what is the next event uh which were the previous events how to participate how to stay updated and similarly there is mx research as well they have mentioned what are the events what are the upcoming events and all you can just get started with by taking any of the website and just modify it to your liking that's totally fine the next thing you will need is a video conferencing tool it should support video screen share chat and these are the few of the free software uh, options one is big blue button and another is jitsi meet so you can uh, request for an account on the given instance uh, to emax conf organizers on this mailing list or you can stick to any of the jitsi meet instances communication media uh, you should have at least some way for people to interact post meetup or uh, before the meetup so you can use any of the existing irc channels uh, emacs con or maybe you can use the existing gnu linux user groups lists i would recommend you to read or watch starting an emacs meetup by harry swords they have mentioned uh, details about in person meetups but there are many important points to consider in that post as well as the recording so go ahead and definitely watch before you start your meetup if you need any help with big blue button account hosting your uh, hosting or captioning the talk recordings for very specific or good talks don't hesitate to reach out to emax con organizers there are many volunteers subscribed to that list so you will definitely find someone to help you i had one idea uh, if you are one of the organizers or if you plan to start a meetup i was thinking if we can have a common platform for all the organizers to discuss what they are doing what they are experimenting so if you are interested drop me drop me an email at this email address and if i get somewhere with this idea i'll definitely involve everyone who is interested with that we come to the end of my talk i would like to thank sasha and leo for their inputs while i was uh, creating this talk and thank you for joining and now it's time for the questions <laughs>